Hello and welcome back to Hollow Knight. It's been too long. I, I couldn't contain myself. I have to stream this game again. I have to play this game again. You might say I, I played this last. It was the last game I played, I streamed, but it's still too long. I don't know. I'm still in like the honeymoon phase, I suppose. I just really want to play this more. So let's just play it more, even though it's kind of mean to all the other games that I'm streaming. But hey, that's the whole point of the streaming thing. It's less structured and I can't guarantee that all things will have an equal time and all that stuff, even though I like to try. But I also like to play Hollow Knight, so let's do that. Grunting right right away, and we're in the green path. Uh, I was thinking that I wanted to go to... Where was it? I think it was like down here to the right was my plan. Yeah. That's the one spot. I don't remember what was right there in the center now. That might be... Was that something that was like closed off that I couldn't do? Maybe an iron gate or something? I can't remember. Either way, I think I want to go to the bottom right, so we should just start by going back to Dirtmouth and checking from there. Oh, damn it. Why do I do that every time? Also, I'm just gonna quickly check that, oh, that you can actually, like, see stuff. Yeah, everything shows up as normal. Good. So what even happened last time? I fought off Hornet, and there was some stuff about the, uh, like, three kind of god-looking dudes with different amounts of eyes. And that was kind of it. I don't really remember past that point. And this guy doesn't say much. So yeah, I guess it's just go out and explore more. And she doesn't have any more stuff yet. Hello, Donst. More Hollow Knight again, yeah. I, I couldn't keep away from this game. Gotta stream it more. Yeah, nothing else going on here. So let's just head down and head to the right. Right? Uh, yeah, I think I opened up the gate there, so I think I can go to the right. Right? I think so. We'll see. I gotta, like, remember all the key bindings and stuff, or, uh, controls. Like, which one was, uh, this is map, yeah. And we got the dash and the magic. Hello, QQQ. Oh well, yeah, so right here, we saw something with these guys, but I think I was in here after I saw that, and nothing has changed, so... We don't know what this whole black egg thing is quite yet. I mean, just seems to be, like, kind of the final thing. You go out and you, I guess, defeat these dudes, or find them, or... I don't even know, and then something will happen in the temple. I also didn't even write anything in the title, like, oh, I will play this afterwards, because I'm not even sure if I'm going to play anything else. We'll see. I was thinking maybe I'll do, like, a run or two of Risk of Rain 2, but, again, I don't want to commit to it in case I just decide, no, I want to keep playing this. So, we'll see. So, over here and then down. I think I opened that up. Quality settings, yeah, finally. It's like... It's kind of random. Sometimes I get them, sometimes I don't. I don't know what causes that. I mean, I, I guess I do. It's probably just, like, based on Twitch, uh... Like, how much people are streaming, how many people are streaming, what the, like, server allocations are like and stuff. And I bet I'm not a stream that would be prioritized so much, so, like, when it's... You know, the... What's the, like, rush hour kind of thing? Then, uh, I'm not gonna get transcoding options. But it's nice when I do have them. 
These guys are like worse moss knights, basically. Oh, right. This guy. I mean, I do want to kill more of these tiny flies and the big ones, I guess. Or info. Yeah, pogoing seems very good. When you can do it. Very good. But yeah, let me know if anyone ever, like, if you're watching on Source or if there's a stream where you don't have transcoding options, if you're getting, like, stuttering and stuff, let me know because I might need to, like, turn down my uh, bitrate and stuff. I raced it even more because, you know, Hat and Time and Risk of Rain were looking kind of shitty and I was streaming at, like, 3500, so I raced it to 4500 because my internet can take it. Oh, wait, no, this is, this is nothing. But I'm not sure if, like people's internet can take it if they can't change the quality, so yeah, let me know if you ever have any, have any issues watching the stream. What is this, like a subway kind of thing? Tram? Oh, little secret. You're watching at 160p. Nice. A door with an open slot. Well, shove it in. Huh, I guess we need some kind of key or something. Not this, I guess? It would fit into a slot? But I guess not this slot. Yeah, that's it. Alright, I guess we need something to put in there. Wait, because I can't, like, I can't use it from the menu, right? No. All right. Oh, hello. Um, I guess we'll wake this guy up. Hello? The wording confused you with the, the slot? This guy isn't doing anything. Do I really want to kill him? Can I even kill him? I guess I can. Gruss. Gruss? Mother. Oh boy. Oh, okay. I definitely want to dash there. Probably want to hit, hit her while she's doing that too. Oh, don't want to do that for too much. Wait, that's it? I guess that's it. All right. Maybe you kind of weren't supposed to have the dash here. The dash made it like super easy. Also, wait, no, more is coming. But that's not too bad. Whoops. Oh my God. All right, there we go. Now it's open. And we've got stuff here, but I can't come back from it, so let's hold off for one moment. Did I go this way? Maybe I did. Fun fact, that was the last boss you killed in your playthrough? Or one of the last? That's interesting. I mean, that's, that's cool to know that, like, things like that can happen. That... It is such an open game that you might just, like, not go there. Yeah, there's also this way. I might have been in these places and just I don't, don't have the map for it. Not sure. You kill the final boss and then realize you had, like, more to do, yeah? Oh, well, I definitely haven't been here. But I don't seem to be able to do anything right now. Can I get, like, a longer ranged weapon, perhaps? And that's what I, like, hit the lever with? Hmm. 
Well, let's head back to the right. Something here. Ah, and shortcut back. Alright. So I didn't need to be wary of the, like, point of no return. The usage of slot for unrelated things. Usually the game's good with having adjective line, line up with a key and lock. Oh yeah, I see. So it's like, here's a slot, and then the city crest says you can slot it in, but it's not... The right one. Oh. Hello. Ah. Or are you oaf? You wield your nail like a club. Ask me, how much deeper do we have to go? Is he drunk? Oh, what? Who are you? I see. This old village. What a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever woken. I'm sly. Usually, I live an uneventful life up in Dartmouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. I guess he's he's got some nose holes right there. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there, and I can thank you properly for your good deed. Thanks, guy. You're exploring then? Very brave. Plenty of courageous wanderers have lost, been lost to the hunger of these old caverns. You have your nail, though, and I can tell just by looking that you know how to wield it. Well, this guy sounds like he knows what he's doing with the uh, weapons. Maybe he can, like, train me or give me a better weapon or something. Maybe I should go back and check that. Though maybe I should just continue on and then maybe find, like, a fast travel point. Let's do that for now. Oh yeah, and here you need the dash. That's a big bench. Oh, it's this guy again. No, it's not. Okay, I thought it was the uh, the guy I learned the like magic spell from. Hi. Oh god. Ooh, you surprised me. Hello, hello. Come in, sweetling. Come and make yourself at home. Salubra, charm lover. I'm Salubra, and this is my cozy little charm store. Oh, charm store. Did the townsfolk town folk out there tell you to come and visit me? Mm, yes. This is a lovely little village, isn't it? Warm and in, in, intim, in, intimate. I thought it said intimatic for some reason. And full of life. Hmm, what were we talking about? Oh yes, charms. I can see you've started your own collection. Very nice. I'll show you some of my own and you can take one home with you if you like. Thanks. Lifeblood heart. Notch cost two. Have you ever drunk that bright blue liquid lifeblood? It's a bit of a taboo, but it does make you feel much healthier, doesn't it? This charm seeps lifeblood and seeps lifeblood and will certainly improve your constitution. So it's just like you get soul hearts essentially just always, but you probably have to like rest up at a bench to get them back maybe? I don't know. Long nail. Oh, that sounds good. That nail you wield is adorable, but do you sometimes feel it could be a little longer? No, no I don't. I'm happy. Oh, ho ho ho. Go on, take this charm home with you. Suddenly, your enemies will be within reach. Well, that sounds very good. Steady body. I love the simple design on this little fellow. Very classy. It's made out of a nice, solid, heavy material, too. Wear it, and you'll you'll be able to stay firmly in place when swinging your little nail around. When swinging your nail around. So it's like, you get, like, hyper armor, basically, I guess. While you're attacking, even if you get hit, you just take damage, but you don't get stunned or something, I would imagine. Shaman Stone 3, damn. Are you a spellcaster, you little scoundrel? Jesus Christ, she just keeps ho ho hoing. Ho ho! I'm only teasing. If you ever learn any spells, you should. What? If you ever learn any spells, you should buy this charm for yourself. I've heard it will make a spell much stronger. Okay, so it's just more damage with that, but it takes up a lot of notches. And 800. Quick focus. 
The crystal set in the center is lovely, isn't it? Exquisite, even. I've heard that crystals help you to focus, so that if something... So if that's something you're interested in, you should take this beauty home. I guess just for, like, healing and stuff? The part where you focus and heal, that'll just go quicker, maybe? Oh! Oh! Here we go! I see. Aha, this is a special charm notch. This is a special item for those who love charms as much as I do. Once you own five charms, I'll gladly sell it to you. You only need one more, keep collecting. So this is how you upgrade how many things you can have equipped. But they get very expensive. So I mean, obviously I'm gonna want this right away, so let's get that. But then I don't have enough to get the slots, so I, I would have to either visit the bank or just go out and kill more stuff, which I guess I will for now. Alright, but let's try that out, because that sounds incredibly good. Let's just have a comparison. And then remove Soul Catcher, I suppose. Oh, right. We have to... Oh, this is the bench. And then put on... This one. Oh, there's a little uh, blue dot to show that it's new, I suppose. So now we have that. I mean, I guess once I have another notch, I could, like, remove this and have the soul catch as well. Oh, remember you can walk behind the counter. Right. Yeah, I did forget about that. Well, I don't see a difference, but I guess we'll test that out on an enemy. Wait, do I? Maybe I... Hold on. Let's, let's just check again. So like from from where I sit here, I swing to that point, that like third little select it's stalagmite thing. And then we unequip it. Yeah, okay. It does extend it. It's not by like that much, but it's definitely noticeable. But then again, that's the question. Like, do I really want to get used to a crutch? But maybe, maybe you'll just have this on permanently and it's always going to be like the best thing you can have. I have no idea. But let's try it for now. I'm going to miss having like less soul though. That is very ha handy as well. Do you wear a lot of charms at once? It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Mixing and matching them to get the perfect combination? Well, if I could. I don't know whether you've noticed, but some charms seem to, to like each other. Oh, yes. Mm, when charms like each other, they shine even brighter and sing even more sweetly. Ha! Huh. Even more reason to try all sorts of fun and surprising combinations of charms. Mmm! You'll show me whenever you have a new favorite, right? <laughs> it's rare enough that someone enters my store, but even rarer to meet one so striking. Thanks. Those impressive horns, that fierce weapon, the air of mystery. Ooh, it's enough to make me swoon. <laughs> oh, okay. See you later. So, let's see if we can find any of that stuff. Like, if I put these in, it makes a shine effect, but not much more. The thorns? Not really. This one? And thorns? No? That could have been a thing. I think people were saying last time that, like, thorns plus balder shell is really good. Can't remember exactly why, but... It sort of makes sense, but yeah, no, I don't seem to have any synergistic ones right now. Yeah. Can't really tell. Maybe I just don't have any combinations, but let's, uh, let's stick with just the compass and the long nail for now, and we'll see how that goes. Alright, uh, I assume that's marked on the map. Yeah, it is, okay. So I don't need to mark it myself. Oh, hello. Yeah, I still get soul decently fast, I suppose. Yeah, you can definitely feel the increased reach. Oh, Gruz Mother. Mature Grusser that carries its young in its belly. Attacks by hurling its huge body around. But you have to defeat two more. Huh. And then we have... This guy, Wandering Husk, 
These civilized bugs of Hallow Nest were weak in life, and now they are equally weak in death. Send them back into the dirt where they were born in. Yeah, that's it for now. Alright, I guess let's, uh... Let's head up. I don't seem to have anything else to do here. Maybe bottom left, I'll check that. But for now, we should just go back to uh, Dirtmouth. And the quickest way should be here. Oh, the charms don't show that they synergize? I see. Okay. So she just means, like, you know, find good combinations in general? Because, yeah, I read that as, like, they will look different. So you can see, like, these two specifically like each other and will, like, increase their effect or something. Or maybe that is exactly what they, what people meant about the, like, Balder Thorns thing. That those synergize and do, like, more than they would seem when they're together. Maybe I should visit the bank and get some of my money back out to get more notches. Actually, I almost have enough to just buy a new notch right away. Oh, what a turn! Our shopkeeps come home. Just wandered back in. I'd hoped for a grand tale of his time below, but he seems to remember almost nothing. Maybe it was all too much for him. If you're interested in his wares, watch out. He drives a hard bargain, that one. No competition, that's the problem. It's bad for the market. Not that he's complaining. Okay. Before we check that out, let's check over here again. Nothing going on with Bapanada. So maybe I need to visit the bank just for more, more money for this guy. Ah, hello! I knew we'd meet again! How do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here, selling old trinkets to travelers like yourself. If you're planning a trip below, it's several times... I've several time... Jesus. I've several items that may improve your chance of survival. Oh, mask shard? I see. Huh. Oh! Oh, I see! Mask Shard is, is just a heart piece! That didn't even click for me. I thought it was, like, a more important mask later on. Like, oh, that's gonna be something significant, because masks are, like, everywhere. Everyone's using masks, but no, that's just, like, a heart container, I guess. They do synergize and have extra effects and become stronger, but there's no visual... There's, there's little to no visual indication. Okay. Vessel Fragment. A, a piece of a soul vessel. I see. So that's, again, just getting more soul. I don't really like the aura about it, but it's quite rare, so I'll have to charge you a high price. Simple key. Simply a simple key. It will fit a variety of locks, which is useful if you like to poke around at places you don't belong. And it's really expensive, so I would think it, like, is reusable, or maybe only usable for one thing. Because otherwise it would kind of suck if you have to buy, like, multiple of these to unlock tiny doors. Gathering Swarm. More charms here. Do you find yourself leaving a lot of Geo behind as you hurry through caverns? This charm will make make sure that any loose change finds its way back to you. That sounds kind of nice, just a magnet add-on. Not that you really need it, but yeah, kind of kind of tempting, that one. Stalwart Shell. Life in Hallow Nest can be tough, always taking hits and getting knocked around. This charm grants you more time to recover after, after taking damage. Useful if you need to ex escape from a tight spot. So just more iframes afterwards. Luma Fly Lantern. What's more important? A light to guide your way? Aha! Or a friend who'll stay by your side? Why not both? Take this bright little fellow as your companion and he'll light your way through the thickest darkness. 
So that's what we need, 1800 to explore those like really dark areas, which again, I'm sure you can explore if you just trial and error through it and if you know the layout, but this this would help. And rancid egg, egg, yet again. I found this under the counter. I'm telling you, like every game I play has egg. Some creature must have laid it here while I was uh, stuck down in the ruins. I suppose you could buy it? I won't miss its sour odor. Um, I'll take the egg. Great. I don't know why, but now I have an egg. I'm sure it'll be useful at some point. I have one of them! Fatty rancid egg of an unknown creature. Emits a powerful stench of decay. Generally not considered edible. Okay. There we go. And yeah. I might want to go get all of my geos and just buy shit. But maybe it's better to save up for now. I really wish the uh, the bank had like... Oh, sorry, guy. I wish the bank had like a little interest mechanic where if you stored it, it would just like increase over time or something. Not that that would make sense, I suppose, but it would be kind of fun. So yeah, the only reason to to give them to the banker is just so, in case you die, you don't have to go back and get them, I suppose. I see, so yeah, that's just a mask fragment, like a heart piece. Yeah, I couldn't tell what that was before. Yeah, you get so many shops to go to, the bank feels kind of useless. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Well, I have 800. I mean, I guess I'll just take all of it. I have a lot of things to spend it on. So bye. Kalala. Kalala. Oh, I always go into the wrong thing here, but... How are you doing? Yeah, stay right here. Now the question is, actually, yeah, I should go to, uh, go to the charm store first, because I'm more interested in getting noxious right now than, uh, Whatever the other guy had. I can't afford, like, the key or anything like that, so... Let's try and get a charm notch, if I can. I guess I would want the, uh, magnet badge as well. But I can go back up and get that. All right, where was it? Down and to the right. Oh, do I have to refight the boss? Or like, can I refight the boss? I could take the uh, shortcut, but maybe the boss is back up. Nope, boss is not back up. So either it respawns at some point or Maybe we just fight the same type of boss as, like, a normal enemy later on, maybe? Nothing is in here now. Nope. Hello again. Yeah, let's start with this one. And then here we need five more badges before I can buy that. I can't afford quick focus. Uh... Hyper armor. This one sounds interesting. I'm kind of, like, wondering how this even works. But I mean, I guess maybe... How much was the magnet one? That was like either 200 or 300. 
I think it was might have been 300. So maybe I should just save that, get that, and then just pick these up just to pick them up, basically. So let's buy this one. And then, yeah, I should be able to buy this one as well. And then we'll hold off for now. I'll leave the Shaman Stone. Uh, let's just put this on, just to see how it works. Like, if we take this off and do... That. When resting, the bearer will gain a coating of lifeblood that, that protects from a modest amount of damage. Yeah, I see. Yeah, two soul hearts that just replenish whenever I go to a rest site. That makes sense. Oh man, just wait until you find out how much Dio you truly need. <laughs> I can imagine, or like, I believe it. Yeah, we'll see. And then Steady Body keeps its bearer from recoiling backwards when they strike an enemy with a nail. Oh, that's what that does. It's not hyper armor. Allows one to stay steady and keep attacking. That almost sounds like a downside, though. You can't pogo in that case. Like, that's the whole point. Or maybe you can still pogo. I kind of want to test that. Just to see how does it feel when you kill hit enemies with that. So yeah, that's like something I rely on, being able to knock myself back so I don't get in the face of enemies all the time. Alright, let's see. Yeah, he gets knocked back. I don't get knocked back. Standing still, not jumping. Oh, I see. Only when you're standing still. You can still pogo. Okay. Alright, in that case, it seems kind of fine. Yeah, you can still pogo. But only when you're standing still. You can't do it, like, if you're running at someone. I'll have to test that. Like, right here. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're running, you're not getting knocked back. But it does seem to work. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, like, recoiling at all. I mean, kind of seems okay then. Maybe. But it doesn't seem, like, necessary. Just kind of a nice thing to have, I guess, if you have the notches. But I'll definitely prefer having, uh, having like, a magnet thing instead. Even though, again, I probably don't need the magnets. You can just collect the geos, but... I, I'm just a sucker for magnets in any game. Oh yeah, I could get this as well. Maybe I should have gotten that, but for now, let's get Gathering Swarm. Yeah, let's get that. See, 150. That's not too much. I could probably just get that and then come back if I want to. Oh, right. Can't do it from in here. Sounds good, but what if the enemy takes a while to kill and they then they don't jump? Wouldn't you just walk into them? Yeah, that's that's what I'm concerned about. Like the knockback is almost useful most of the time. So not getting knocked back would just mean you are closer to the enemy after you swing, which generally you probably don't really want. But I guess you can always like do the hit and run thing where you like hit them and then dash away, and then maybe in some situations not getting knocked back can make it more controllable or something. I don't know. Uh, there it is. A swarm will follow the bear and gather up any lo loose geo. Useful for those who can't bear to leave anything behind, no matter how insignificant. That's me! Yeah, I think I'm, I'm okay with this setup for right now, and we'll see later on. Just gonna reorder these. This is a better order. Compass, magnet, long nail. Yeah, we'll see how that works out. So now, let's go to the bottom left here, I want to go. So, yeah, I guess just, just down from here is quickest. I won't be missing my Geo, yeah. The, like, four Geos I missed by not collecting them will always get them. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, there he goes. Little flies collecting them for me. Possibly pretty useless, but I don't know. I kind of like the idea of it. I don't have to worry about collecting anything. Oh. Alright, so from here, yeah, down and then down further. Oh, not that down, okay. Yeah, what was up with this one? Why couldn't I progress here? Let's see. I can get up here now. So I haven't been here since I had my dash. Yeah, I guess I just, like, stopped here. I was just like, oh, I'll go somewhere else. Oh, got that log now. Aspid hatchling, recently birthed. These hatchlings are born with an instinct to kill. They are still only infants, though, and you can crush them between your fangs without thinking. Just don't let them overwhelm you with numbers. Oh. So that's all I came here for. Hey, guy. Yep, yeah, guess so. Alright, I think I'm done in this place now, at least as done as I can be. I don't remember what that marker was down there. Guess let's check that out. Oh yeah, it was like crumbly ground, right? No? That was to the right. Huh. Wait, why did I mark that? Didn't I think something here looked crumbly or something like that? But it's not crumbling now, it's not like, moving. I'm a little unsure. I can't really remember. Oh! Oh, it's down here? Oh, I see. Yeah. Over here, I guess. Ah, right there. Yeah, this crumbles. Okay. Well, I guess we might as well go in here, then. I don't know where else to go. Fungal wastes again. Oh, got info on them now. Oh, Ambloom, simple minded crawling fungus. Its cap is covered in a layer of hardened spikes. And. Fungoon. Wait. Did I get info about this? I guess I got info about the uh, Ambloom. It just happened at the same time I killed the big balloon dude. I guess the uh, Ambloom, like, fell down into this acid or something and died. Yeah, I do have the map here. Did I leave anything up here? Kind of.
Yeah, I guess that's that. Pretty risky, just falling like that. These guys are just sleeping here. I'm sure they're fine, they're just sleeping. Oh! Hi, guy! Stop! Leg eater! Don't try to sneak past me, I can smell you! Hmm, do you collect a lot of Geo? I sure do! Give me Geo and you can see something nice. Uh, pay to see something nice. Uh, I don't really trust this guy, but sure, here! Here you go! Let me show you then. Take a look. Do you want them? If you really, really want them, I'll trade them for more Geo. More Geo! God damn it. I see. So you have to, like, pay to see the wares and then pay to get these. Fragile heart. This is a precious thing. A beautiful charm. I made it for you. If you hold it, you'll feel a lot healthier. If you're afraid of dying, you need this charm. But why are they so fragile? Is it, like... If you die, you lose them or something? Fragile Greed! Very, very special and valuable charm. Do you want to find more Geo? Hold this charm and go hunting. Then bring any Geo you find back to me! Fragile Strength! You're weak, aren't you? You should give me Geo. If you do, I'll give you this charm I made. It will make you stronger. Your enemies and everyone else will fear you at last. Oh, I thought... I thought it meant, like, it will make you stronger, but also your enemies. Huh. Yeah, these seem fishy. They seem like these probably have a catch, because they just sound really, really good. So I would imagine it's like either after taking a certain amount of hits, or if you die, then you just lose them because they're fragile. They just break. He's even got like a broken thing here. Huh. Yeah. And then I have to like pay more money, right? No, okay. I don't have to pay more money right now, but maybe if I leave and come back? You don't like to be hurt, do you? Or maybe you don't mind. Are you nice? If you're nice, you'll give me Geo. Maybe you aren't so nice. Don't try to trick me. I'm not stupid. Beautiful, aren't they? These gifts I have. They're shiny and dangerous and lovely. I made them. Don't be jealous. Give me Geo and you can have one. Enough talking. You're jabbering. Annoying. I'm not jabbering. I'm not doing anything. Step over here and show me your Geo. Yeah, you need so much Geo to buy everything. Well, I'll... I'll hold off on that for now. Ooh, I can't... I can't go past this, can I? I have to test it. No, you can't. So, we need to, like, get this... Get this away, or maybe get a double jump, and you could maybe time it so you fall down, dash, and then double jump or something to get in there. No idea. Oh yeah, is he marked? Yeah, he's marked on the map. Good. Alright, I can finish this up. Just see what's over here. Hi! Oh, yeah, I knew it. That doesn't seem like you want to step in it. Oof. The reach is nice, though. I can definitely feel the reach. I should be using, ow, this a bit more. Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna save my magic. I don't feel like I need it right now. I, okay. Ah, damn it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't too bad. I wonder if I could have killed the tiny one. 
probably, if I did it quick enough. Charm Notch! Nice! So you can find them as well. You don't only buy them. Oh. Hi, babies. Bye. Well, we got info. Shroomling. Young fungal creature. Spends most of its time in the ground, but you can up but can uproot root and flee if it senses danger. And then Shroomal Ogre. Huge fungal creature. Attacks by spitting corrosive venom and slamming its body into foes. Yeah, we need to defeat many more. And there's nothing, like, up here. This isn't crumbly. Oh, okay. Guess we're going down. Yeah, and then I've been here, but I don't think I was all the way up here. So yeah, there we go. Unlock that. Nice. Yeah, it's so nice. I can, like, ignore wherever those geos fall. They'll just be collected for me. Another lever there. Oh, no! This is why I left this place. Oh, fuck these guys. Yeah, I don't think I could go in there. Maybe I can. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I hate these guys. There we go. You have to eventually kill those. I can put it off forever. It's fine. There we go. And the last one. Nice, that reach is so, so good. I definitely wouldn't be able to hit there without the reach. Alright, and then we need to come from down there. Right, right here. Though, not right here. Ah. This might be what this thing is, like... No? And there's no opening into here. Oh no, there is there is an opening. So maybe we just come there from a different direction. Hmm. You can pogo the explosions? Really? Okay, I have to test that at some point. No. Hello? Wow! Wow! <laughs> oh, he's dead. That was a fun guy. Oh, I... Jesus, I didn't even mean to say that! But it, it works too well. Shroomal Warrior. Fungal creature that attacks intruders to protect its young. Makes sense probably with the amount of height you gain and the range upgrades, you're probably out of the explosion radius. Ah, yeah. Another wow guy. What, what do these guys even do? Oh, that. Okay. They almost seem like they would never hit you because they just jump over you and don't do anything. Yeah, I still feel like I'm gaining a lot of soul despite not having the soul catcher one. So maybe I was overvaluing that. I mean, I'm sure it's still nice, but yeah, you might not need it really. I am really tempted to, like, I guess I'll keep playing for now, but I am really tempted to rebind my dash to uh, right bumper instead of right trigger. I'm just gonna, like, try the trigger for a little bit longer, but I really feel like I would prefer that and just have magic on the trigger instead. Nothing else here. Oh, can't stop their uh, rolling attack.
Does this lead where I was before? Yes, it does. Okay. Wait. Oh, where I was before. That's not what I meant. Wait. Hold on. So I actually do go down and then here? No, this is also where I... That's where I came in. Huh. Then how do you get down even more? And was there any point to this screen? Aha! No. I thought it was crumbly. And nothing is crumbling. Nope, getting more info now. Shroomling looks like an ordinary mushroom until you get close, then it pops out of the ground and starts scurrying around blindly. Very, very amusing. Maybe with even more range upgrades, you could face the explosions head on. Yeah, knockback would make that worse, because you couldn't knock yourself back from explosions. Yeah, I don't see anything here, really, in this entire screen. It's kind of a weird one. Oh, no, I guess I, I see. You have to pass through this screen if you come from the bottom, because then this door wouldn't be open. So you get here, and then you open this shortcut, and then you don't have to go in there anymore. All right. Oh, we get to fight these guys again. Sure. Oh my god, this is a bad spot for it, though. Yeah, with a range you can kind of just like keep spamming because the knockback will take you far enough away that you don't get hit. Only one this time. Huh. I guess they just respawn like one from now on instead of the double. Wow. Oh. I always forget about the roll attack. Oh. Now I forget about the jump attack. Okay, maybe those guys aren't as pathetic as I first thought. Wow! Yep, <laughs> fucking noise. I love the, the sounds that things make in this game. They're so good. Oh, damn. Well, it took itself out, I think? Do they do self-damage? I have no idea. You can't pogo on the ogre? Oh yeah, I didn't try that. Well, I should try it at some point. Just to see. Whoa, whoops. Thought he was dead. Yeah, there's gonna be more of these guys, right? Yep. Of course. Not sure I'm up for pogoing on explosions quite yet. Boss fight? Oh, what's this? We remember the Elder. Sure. I don't. Okay. I wonder if this gets marked, or if I should mark it myself. Hmm. Guess I'll preliminarily put a marker here. Like a... Uh, hmm. This kind of marker? It's like the super rare thing? I don't know. Remember the Elder. It almost seems like a challenge arena, like, oh, once you do something involving whatever elder, you can go there and, like, fight a secret boss or something. Oh, this also seems like an arena. 
Hello. Do I talk to you? Oh. Cloth. Aha! The tiny steps of a tiny creature. You got the look of an adventurer, so we've, we've much in common. I feel like I'm gonna fight her, though. Searching for dangerous places, I? Well, you're on the right track. A long-necked critter warned me of a tribe deeper down. Warrior sorts. So she says I'm... So she says, and I'm itching for some serious combat. Uh-oh. Oh. Keep sharp, my adventurous friend. Stay alive, and let's meet again on the road ahead. Okay. We don't fight? This sure seemed like a place we would fight. A friendly little combat section. But I guess not. What if I just leave and come back? She's back! I wasn't hiding, you know. Just napping before I head off again. Where are you napping? In the acid? Bound, bound to be facing even more deadly beasts soon, so I gotta keep me strength up. Oh god. Alright, okay. You do you. Oh, how do I get up there? Double jump? Clearly we need a double jump. Oh, or I can... Glitch through the wall. Sweet. Oh, I've been here, haven't I? Yeah, I mean, she was in the ground, but the ground was, like, super thin. So it didn't look like she had place in the ground. Enough place, space, whatever. And I guess I can't get up here. Oh, wait. How do I do that? What did I just do? I like... Oh, there we go. But yeah, still can't get up. Yeah. Alright, so not here. There's something below us, though. Yeah, I guess I need to go from the other way around at the Queen Station. Oh, Pogo and the Mushrooms? That's a good idea, of course. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I, I did try holding jump. I thought maybe holding jump would, like, make me bounce higher, but no, the pogo makes sense. Okay, so that's just how you get in here. Uh, maybe just with a, a dash, like, from here? Yeah, that's how you were supposed to do it. Okay, thank you for that. I didn't realize, even though it was pretty obvious. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus Christ, saved it. I thought I'd already been here, but I guess it's a similar looking area on the left there. I like this. They feel pretty nice to bounce on. Oh, shortcut. And nice, every time you pogo, you reset your dash as well. So you can just use it every time. It's a cicada, they sleep underground. The sound you hear in the room is her snoring. Oh, I see. Even so, she's pretty big and there was not much ground before it was like all acid. Oh, one of these again. Don't really need it. But I still feel like I should take them out just to have, like, used them once. Here we go. What's this stuff? Hmm. Oh, hi, Hornet. And off she goes. Here ends the pilgrim's way. Hallow's nest's heart lays open before you. Proceed onward to share in its glory. Okay, uh, but I guess I can't? Nope. I guess I can't do it until I get something else. I need her needle and thread thing or something. Kill that guy. Yeah, guess we can't go this way for right now.
Oh, great. Uh-oh. Okay, I see. Yeah, I can hit them, but maybe I need more range before I can really do it well. Yeah, not really worth experimenting with. They are so dangerous, those explosions. So we can go here. I mean, I've, I've been over here, so let's just check what's going on. I guess I just didn't go right here. Oh! Well, there's a, a lever here. Yeah. I guess that's what happened. Maybe. It's definitely getting hard to, like, keep track of what I did and didn't do. Ow. Oh yeah, can you, like, hit these from below as well? Not really, it doesn't, like, catapult you down or anything. But from the side? Yes, you can. From the side, you do get, like, shot to the side. So maybe that'll come up at some point. We'll have to, like, fall down somewhere and then hit it from the side so it bounces us to the side and not down into, like, a pit. Whoops. Oh no. That's a lot of balloon dudes. I can get another set of rewards from old man larva dude. Or maggot or grub or whatever they were, I forgot. Some money down here. And then I guess this just takes me out. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that was it. Just a little bonus area. The Grub Father, that's a good name. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Okay, it's it's nice that they do kill themselves, at least. And there's no way I can, like, do that, no. Yeah, so that's either somewhere I need to come from, or we need a new ability. Oh, hello! Holy shit! I didn't even see this guy, he like, blended in. Mantis Warrior, member of a proud tribe, fiercely protective of its territory, launches savage attacks with bladed forelimbs. Great! Oh, yep. And a flyer. They don't have much health, at least. They poke on explosions here in speedruns? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. To go up to the left, you, like, get one of the explosion things to go down, so you pogo up. Yeah. Hello. I'm just gonna pogo. Wait, what? Marame is with the mantises, but Pinky promises she won't attack like they do if she can hang from the ceiling for a bit. Hello. <laughs> Feel free. Mantis Youth, member of a proud tribe, fiercely protective of its territory, launches stinging attacks with its needle-sharp abdomen. So they fly when they're young, but then they just stop flying. Oh, they okay. All right, you can't just pogo forever. I see. You have to, like, bait them into attacking forward, and then you can pogo. 
Oh man, it's a lot of them. Well, here's something. Wanderer seeking death. Welcome. Yeah, I'm seeking death. Great. May you find swift end upon our claws. Great. Are you enjoying Hollow Knight so far? I'm loving it. I, I'm, I'm almost feeling bad that I'm playing it more than any other game I'm streaming right now because I'm just... I really want to play more of this and see what else is in it and stuff. Just, I love the world. It's kind of... Kind of a funny thing, like, you would think that this game is reminding me of Metroid games or Castlevania games and stuff like that, but really, just exploring around, the game that it reminds me of the most is Knit Underground, which is really weird. Like, most people, if you played Knit Underground, you probably wouldn't think that, and if you haven't, you probably have never heard of it, but it's just like the, the type of world, everything is on like a micro scale, and the environments in general, like, atmosphere is very similar in Knit Underground, and I guess you could... You could kind of argue that Knit Underground is a Metroidvania, but there's no, like, combat or health or anything like that. So, they're very different games, but I just get the same sort of feelings from uh, this game. Just wondering what, what I'll find next and what kind of environments we'll be in and stuff like that. I would very much recommend anyone to check out Knit Underground. Pretty sure it's, like, super cheap as well. Whoops. Those mantis can get annoying. Yeah, I can imagine they, they do. Oh, hello. Ow. Yeah, if it clicks with you, it's a, an addictive game. Yeah, it's definitely clicking with me, at least so far. Uh-oh. Don't want to fall down there quite yet. Uh-oh, I'm falling down there. All right, it wasn't bad. Oh boy. Ah, shit. Yeah, that seems like the better strategy. Just hit and dash. Like, outspace them. Uh-oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Sure, I guess we'll go in here. I could use like a bench or a fast travel point. That would be nice. Mantis Village. Uh-oh, this does not sound good. That would be too easy, of course. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go in here quite yet. At least they have kind of a long delay between their attacks. Ah, oh, I can't cheese this. Too bad. Yeah, not too bad now. Oh, I can't go back now? Really? Oh, I can't go back now. Whoops! Guess we're doing this place. Yeah, I did not realize that. It's funny how the game has signs that point to things and you can just destroy them easily. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of reminiscent of Zelda, where you just chop the signs. That was like one of the most wowing moments of... Uh, Ocarina of Time, just like, holy shit, I can cut the signs vertically and horizontally. Crazy. They do explain how they get fixed when you re-enter a room, though. Oh, I see. So they have their own version of, like, explaining, like, why treasure chests are filled and stuff in, in that kind of vein of logic. Just like, don't, don't think about it until we explain it. Alright, this way, I guess. Yeah, the dashing definitely made me like the combat mechanics a lot more. It feels a lot nicer now that we have some, like, proper mobility. 
since the uh, the basic attack is so basic, there's not really much to it. Oh, here's something. Wait, what was that? Oh, taking the mantis claw. While sliding against the wall to jump again, press A. Jump from wall to wall to reach new areas. Wall jump! There we go! Nice! Okay, you just slide down. You can dash into it. Can you, like... Oh! Yeah, you can just scale walls. Okay. Nice. You can turn it off for a singular object. Wait, turn off what? Oh, things being f fixed. Oh, I see. And yeah, now we can leave the village, I suppose. Was that it, then? Nothing more here? Wait, there's this as well? Aha! Uh -huh. And we can go up there. Yeah, it's nice that you can... Oh, Jesus Christ. It's nice that you can... Uh like, jump up the same wall. It's not... It doesn't have a restriction where it's like, oh, if you jump on one wall, you have to jump on an opposing wall or anything like that. I see. We're getting into a super meat boy territory now. Yeah, now I have, I have so many more options, I feel. There's gonna be a lot of things I can explore now. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh... What was that about? That didn't seem good. I missed a sign? I'm not sure where I missed a sign. Or wants all the attention. Well, we can go up here as well. Wait, what the hell is this? Why does this thing look so suspicious? I guess it's nothing. Huh. Right there. Well, that's... <laughs> That doesn't really help anymore. Oh, here's something. Wanderer's Journal. Alright, that's just a collectible. Yeah, two of them. Oh, a tablet! Oh, I see. Hold on. Do you play the accent game? Oh, you mean, like, guess where I'm from? Go ahead. I'd be interested in hearing where you think my accent ah, accent is from. Oh, this thing. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed it. Thank you for telling me that. The truce remains. Our vigil holds. The beasts are kept at bay. Honestly, if you if you don't know where I'm from and you try to guess from my accent, I would be kind of disappointed if you get it right, because then I, I feel bad. Because most people of my, uh, country have pretty awful English accents. Yep, I'm already loving the wall jump mechanic, along with the dash and stuff. Took me a long time to hear it, but th there's something super vague. It reminds me of a cadence in Swedish. God damn it. Nope, I am Swedish. I didn't want you to get it right. Yeah, I'm Swedish. But m most Swedish people kind of speak English like this, and it's really weird, and they really, like, emphasize the E sounds and stuff, and it, it bugs me to no end. I, I just fucking hate people speaking English like that. But I guess I just gotta gotta improve more. Why do you keep hating Sweden so much? 
I don't he hate Sweden. I just hate the Swedish language. That's it. And the flag is ugly. Overall, the country is great. And most people are chill here. Yeah, now we're just back. It's a very subtle thing. I mean, at least I'm glad it's subtle. Well, I, I guess... Where do I go now? Did I go here? Yeah, I did. I couldn't go up here. I guess we just go back now and look for more places to go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You found out recently by watching some videos? Yeah, sometimes I mention it. And sometimes, like, Swedish comes up in different games and stuff. You like just guessing people's accents. Alright, we got more journal stuff. Which one was that? This one? No? Two more. Oh, well, this one is different. Uh, maybe this was the one. Ambloom. Lie in your belly, open your maw, and let this tasty morsel stroll straight, straight into your stomach. Don't remember if I unlocked anything else. Continue the rest of the stream in Swedish. That will never happen. Never. Oh yeah, I can do this. There we go. That's a way to cheese this guy. Alright, so where can I even... Oh man, where can I go from here? I'm sure I can go many places, but where should I go from here? Let's just go... I have so many, like, geos. I, I want to go back and buy something, so let's just head back to the station. Most people think you're Scandinavian, even though you're not. Yeah, I mean, accents are hard to place, especially for me. Like, I, I probably would not have guessed... I, I can't guess anyone's accent, pretty much. Yeah, I need a bench. Definitely, I haven't been at a bench for a long time. Have I been up here? I guess I have. Yeah, let's just... Let's just go up to the station before... Shit gets too bad. And I've already been here. Oh yeah, here we go. Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dirtmouth and purchase a map of this area? Available now for an excellent price. Must sit. Yeah, and then left here. Can I do something here now? No? No, still no. Oh! Oh, I can! Aha! Let's uh, bench first, just to save my stuff. Actually, yeah, let's, let's go back and buy some shit before I inevitably die to a wall jumping challenge. We sat. How many more badges or charms do I need before I can buy another thing? I think like three, maybe? Have I read this? Hallowness's great capital is what most of you brave types come to see. Thinking to loot its treasures, I suppose? It must be brimming with them. The city's right at the center of the kingdom, though I've heard the gates are sealed, so gaining entry can be difficult. It'd be a rich bug that could return with even a fraction of the wealth inside. Despite my age, I've only seen few who've managed managed it. Must say something of the dangers about its streets. There we go. Anything up with Bapanada girl? Yeah, I needed five more, but I think I bought, like, I bought the magnet after that, and maybe one more? I can't remember. 
Nothingada. Yeah, nothing more here. We could buy that. Uh, I guess I'll just buy these two. Why not? Yeah, one out of three, I suppose. And this one is like two out of four. Yeah, seems like it. Oh, he sells more. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right. I guess now we go someplace else. Yeah, mask shards. Collect two more to strengthen your shell and protect yourself from damage. Oh. Strengthen your shell. I mean, that sounds like it could be just a health up. But when I read that the first time, I thought it would be like, oh, when you get the stuff, you get like a shield, like an actual shield, but I guess not. Mantis Claw? Claw carved from bone, allows the wearer to cling to walls and leap off of them. Remember behind the counter to talk to Sly? Didn't I do that? I think I've talked to him. Whoops. I talked to him and he was like, oh! Okay, it's it's new now. I see they they've opened that mapping shop across the way. I suppose a little competition is healthy. Perhaps I should start to sell maps as, as well. Or is that a little aggressive? Heh. <laughs> All's fair in a world made of geo. Pockets feeling empty? If you need some more geo, take a trip into the ruins below and hunt around. Just take care not to fall into a haze. I won't be coming down to rescue you. Yeah, they have hard shells to protect their life. Health upgrade. Yeah, I figure. Alright, well. Ah, there we go. Oh, 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 hold on. Let's go back. Now I can actually make it up to that thing I missed all the way back in the tutorial. Also, I forgot about the, uh, the, the wall jumping thing at the station. I'll go do that as well. Aha! Watch, this is gonna be like an absurdly difficult place now, now that we come back. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, have I. Is this new? Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom. Hello, Nest. I think I might have read that. Yeah, you read that on, at the start. Okay. And there's something over here. Oh, no. Oh, I see. This thing. There we go. Tags say it's a blind play, but it seems you're accepting hints from chat. Eh, I wouldn't really say I'm accepting hints. It's just, I mean, I'm not going to get upset, but I would prefer if people don't give me hints as much as you can avoid it, because I do want to, like, experience things for myself. Yeah, here we go. This is what I didn't do last time. And you could have done right away just by pogoing. Aha! You haven't been upset at the myriad of hints? Yeah, there have been quite a few. <laughs> I would like people to tone it down a little bit, but, you know, it, it hasn't been, like, bad so far. I would say if someone is, like, backseating way too much. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Within our lands, do not hide your true form. Let all bask in your majesty. For only this kingdom could produce ones such as you. I see. What do we get? Fury of the Fallen, a charm? Embodies the fury of heroism that comes upon those who are about to die. When close to death, the bear's strength will increase. Eh. Hmm. 
No secret in the chest. But who knows, maybe that's like... I mean, it's the red tear stone, uh, tear stone ring of this game. Maybe it's like actually really strong. No clue. If it's just like you do one more damage, then maybe it's not worth it. But if it's like you do a lot more damage, it could be pretty good. Especially once you're familiar with the game. Totally not a fake hint. There's a mushroom that, that's totally a god and it destroys the universe. I'm sure it does. But if I destroy it first, then we're, we'll be fine. Aha! Wait, have I been here? No? I guess not. I am the real tre treasure. You only tell minor tips, like small things you've missed. Yeah, I mean, like if you tell me, hey, there was a sign you missed, that that's totally fine. Stuff like that, where it's just like, I just didn't see a thing. That's completely fine. It's just things that I haven't worked out yet, I don't really want to know. But yeah, just overall, it's it's fine. Just like use your own judgments. And again, if, if things get too much, I'll just say, please dial it back. Howling Cliffs? Oh. Oh, here we go. But yeah, basically, if you ever wonder, should I tell him this? Probably don't. If you actually wonder, is this too much? Then it's probably too much. But otherwise, I'm sure it's fine. Oh. Just take this nail. It looks way better than what I have. Oh boy. What is this place? Oh. Rest? Oh yeah, this looks totally fine. I'll just rest on this sacrificial altar. Great. Nothing bad happened. Oh. Ah. Here we go. I guess I'll die. Oh, maybe not. That is not the voice I expected from this guy. Mato, Nail Ma Master Mato. Hmm. Ah, well met. Yes, I thought I could sense the aura of a fierce warrior approaching. I'm impressed you found my sanctuary here at the top of the world. No doubt you've endured many trials and overcome many foes in your quest to find me. No, don't speak a word. I, Nail Master Mato, who was taught the art of the nail by the great Nail Sage himself, hereby accept you as my pupil. Let us begin the lesson immediately. Uh-oh. Death is very polite. I mean, have you read Discworld? Death is very polite. Learn the master's nail art. Oof. Okay. Rip 165 geos, I suppose. Here we go. Wait, I don't have to fight him? I don't even have to fight him. Okay, Cyclone Slash. Hold X to concentrate energy into the nail. Release the button while holding up or down to perform the Cyclone Slash. Okay. I do have to fight him. Your form, exquisite. Now I know how my own master felt when he passed down his teachings to us. I hope you don't think me too forward when I say that I consider you to be my child. Yes, father. When I saw you perform my nail art, I felt a bond between us suddenly flash into existence. You honor me beyond words, my pupil. Thank you. Now you must die. Okay. You honor me beyond words, my pupil. Thank you. I thought we would have to do like a training mock fight or something. Oh, you haven't? You can't stand the writing style? Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. I love Pratchett. Well, I loved Pratchett's writing style. I haven't read all of Pratchett's stuff. But yeah, it's, I just... I've been reading a lot of other stuff since I finished all of the main Discworld books. But like, I just... I miss reading Discworld. I miss his writing style. So I'm probably gonna buy some more stuff, non-Discworld stuff, and get back to that. Bum. All right, well, bye, Dad. That's not what I expected. I thought it would be uh, the Wind Waker uh, 
naked old man training thing. Especially with a like resting spot here. Definitely seemed like I would be fighting him. Oh, well, that's resting, damn it. Yeah, just the spin slash. And if I just let go with nothing? Oh. It said while holding up or down, but it actually you can just do it like manually or a uh, in neutral as well, but maybe not for long. Maybe I'll learn something else. But interesting, you can hold it down while you're like dodging around and then get in range and do it. Yeah, seems good. I thought it would be like, oh, you have to stand still and charge it up and do nothing else. And then you have to release it before you can do anything else. Then it would not have been all that good. Take that. Yep. That's very strong. Oh, well, you can't aim it upward. It is a little awkward to hold down X while, like, platforming around. But I guess you either get used to it, or I could try and remap it or something. Like, maybe having attack on right bumper would be a thing to do. I don't know. Here lies Gorb, the Great Mind. Rest in peace, Gorb. Okay, the ultra secret master tip, right? Yeah, about like secrets and stuff. I mean, sure, go ahead. If you think it's actually like something useful to tell me, I guess why not? If you're just like dying to let me know something. That's gone. Where am I going here? This place is massive. Parrying. There's parrying? Like hitting the enemy's attacks with your sword, or what do you mean? Do I die if I just fall down here? I have to try it at some point. Oh, oh boy. Well, when, when does that really... Any attack with a white streak can be parried. I see. Yeah, I mean... I, I guess that's fine. We'll see when it comes up. Oh. Mapper. I want my map. There it is. Hey guy. Make him noise, good chin. Haven't seen anyone actually using it. If you hit at the exact same moment. Yeah, that makes sense. Enjoying the bracing air? We're quite close to Hallow's Nest board uh, Hallow Nest's borders and those desolate plains that surround it. In this direction, I'm about as far as I'm willing to go, though it's been a pleasant change from the tight confines of the caverns. I've drawn out a small map for the area. It's a simple one, and more for completion, really. Not knowing the full extents of a region can be quite frustrating. Purchase a map of the area. Of course. I chanced upon a strange bug atop these cliffs. His house isn't far from here. A very imposing figure he was, and no doubt lethal with a nail. I suspect you two might share more in common than him and I. You are not aware of parrying? Pretty sure it acts like hitting an enemy, except it doesn't do anything but knock you back. Hmm. Oh, and I can go that way as well. So now... We have this. I see. 
Alright, let's continue in to the right here. Oh no. Oh no, let's not continue into the right. Okay, I need the lantern here. Should I mark that? Hmm. I don't know if it's worth it. Like, I don't have any markers I haven't used. I mean, I guess these... I haven't marked any, like, bosses I've killed. Maybe if I mark this as a dark area? I don't know. Let's do it for now. It blocks the damage, does extra damage, and makes a noise. Yeah, I guess I'll try it out if I spot any white attacks. And gives you iframes. There we go. I knew that looked suspicious. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. These blasted plains stretch never-ending. There is no world beyond. Those foolish enough to traverse this void must pay the toll and relinquish the precious mind this kingdom grants. Oh. Hmm. wonder if that actually means you can do something or if it's just... It's hopeless. Don't do it. Journal, again, yeah. And yeah, this looked suspicious once again. Um, oh. Oh, you can't slide down all types of walls. It's only specific straight walls, I suppose. Hi! The corpse of a large bug. The corpse, eh? I'm sure it's a corpse. I'm sure it won't come alive. It's a big bug. Hmm. Guess it's dead. I wonder if it's dead because I, like, didn't get here early enough or something. I mean, how could you? How could I get here earlier? Yeah, maybe it's just something for later on. We'll see. Man, this area just keeps going. It's part of a DLC. I see. Oh, hello. You're awfully out of the way. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm just back. Damn it. I didn't really want to do that. Shit. All right, well, guess we're back now. Yeah, I definitely have a lot more to explore over there. You can go back, like, the same way? It didn't seem like I could. Wait, how would I do that? Not the same, but close. Ow! In the chest. Oh, this place. Ah, right here. I see. Hold on. Yeah, nothing else here. Ha! <laughs> 
Ken's music for nothing, yeah. Look at these scary corpses that you killed, like, hours ago. Yeah, there we go. Definitely need to go to the Grub Father, or whatever he was called. I freed quite a bit of his, uh, quite a few of his children. Okay, that thing is not very good at, good at, like, killing things that are in the air. I guess they have to be, like, next to you to really get the full, all of the full hits. King's Idol. A white idol depicting the King of Hallow Nest, the elusive king, was worshipped through these idols. Relic from Hallow Nest's past. This item now holds little value except for those dedicated to the kingdom's history. So another just random collectible. And now I guess we're just going in the plains. But I can't? Or can I? I can't. Or can I? I can't. God damn it! I guess not. Yeah. Nope. Can't. Alright. There we go. Another one of these! Yeah, they're definitely suspicious, these things. There's definitely something up with these. Maybe I should have marked that other one. I should mark this one. But what marker? I don't have any markers left. I only have one of these random blue ones. I guess these? Sure. An invisible wall? I didn't see one. Well, obviously I didn't see the invisible wall, but I didn't notice. Oh, the wind. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, now we know what's to the left, so I guess I should just go as high as I can and then just like... Jump to the left and dash and just see what happens. I guess I'm just gonna fall onto the ground. Nothing much more. Oh no! Not yet! That seems to be everything here. Yeah, now I'm just back where I've been before. I think. I don't know if I went to the right here. I think I did, yeah. Him singing and then up to the right is the uh, sword dude. Yeah, let's just try jumping. Uh oh, uh oh from here, I guess. Do I see anything on the way? Nope, I'm just already getting blown back by the, the wind. Alright. The wind seems angry. I don't know, it's just determined. But yeah, we'll see. Maybe that's just the end of the world, I suppose, but, but maybe there's something you can do at some point. I'm not sure if I had stuff left over here. Maybe. Yeah, I can't wall climb up there. And up here was a uh, Gorb. 
Yeah. Nothing else. And I think I checked down here. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I guess I'm done-ish here for now, as far as I can tell. Wait, is this where I came from? And then I didn't go to the right. Oh yeah, I did go here, but I didn't jump down. But I'm guessing you just fall, right? Like... Let's just see. Oh! King's Pass. Oh! Yeah! That's just where you started the game. I see. Yeah, okay. So I guess jumping, like, far there wouldn't do anything. Trying to jump all the way to the right or whatever. Oops. Oh yeah, right. This is the tutorial stuff. There's nothing down to the left here. Nope. Yeah, you started on that ledge. Oh, I didn't even notice when my soul hearts disappeared. I guess I just took damage? Or if they, like, vanished when you rested or something? Yeah, there we go. Would you jump off a friend if you're... Uh, wow, jump off a friend if your cliff did it. Yes, I would. Absolutely. I love my cliff too much. To reach Dirtmouth, most travelers take cir circuitous routes around the cliffs beside us. It's a hard trek now, but in the kingdom's prime, things were far simpler. Bench resets health. Okay, yeah, I thought so. There's an old pass in the cliffs that once allowed easy access. The bridge up to it has long since crumbl crumbled away, and even without it, a huge door bars entry. I can't complain, mind you. It's meant we've only ever had to accommodate a trickle of travelers, even during our busiest times. I wouldn't want hordes of bugs to descend on Dirtmouth. I like the quiet. Yeah, I think I read this. Rich bug. Yeah. So, yeah. Soul heart's gone. Whoops. Goodbye this, I guess. More recovery time. Eh. I mean, sure. Why not? Just to, like, get another charm so I can get closer to getting another notch, I suppose. Because, yeah, nothing new here, I suppose. Nope. Papanada. Well, I might just leave it there for Hollow Knight for today, and then switch over and do, like, a run or two of Risk of Rain 2 before I go to bed. Because, yeah, this seems like a, a decent time to stop. We've now explored most of the Howling Cliffs and the Fungal Wastes, as far as I can tell and the whole mantis stuff. And then I guess next time, I don't even know where to go. I, I'm sure there's many places I can go now that I have a wall jump. There were like, the thing right in the center underneath me was like a, a blue marker that had like a blue light that I can maybe get up to now or something. Maybe stuff over here. There's the, uh, whatever that was called, the other stuff, not the fungal waste, but 
the place that I've been to. I don't know. I can't remember. We'll see, I suppose. But yeah, I'm going to take a quick break and then be back with some Risk of Rain 2. So if you want to see that, stick around. Otherwise, I'll see you next time in Hollow Knight. Bye-bye!